So it's just interesting, you know, I listen to these analysts on TV and it's just, even these technicians, you know, people who study the charts, it's just, I don't know, people just don't read them properly. Probably I should peel through to a weekly uh, to put this. So the S and P has just kind of been bouncing in this area around this 4100. You know, just comes down here, bang. Comes down here, bang. Comes down here, you know, and you know, comes down here, and we just get these these ratchets, you know, which kind of just makes you rethink every time it does that. But this whole thing now is just forming this whole top, you know. And so the more times you bang you know, in a certain area. To me, that doesn't set up. So a lot of people are talking about this as support area. Or a lot of people say, well, you know, the S&P needs to go to 4,000. Well, it's not going to set this size of distribution up, just go here, and then that's a bottom. You know, and so I think we're forming a big, bad top. I think conditions are far worse than people think they are. I've been saying that for a long time. I've been saying, you know, you could use your imagination and it still won't equate to what I think this market is going to do. And it's already doing that. You know, we're seeing, you know, Amazon and Netflix and stocks that were institutional stocks getting clipped. So here we are in the S&P. Um, I think this is the first time it's been five down weeks in a decade. Uh, we're getting all kinds of record setting things. Um, every week there's some record setting and not in a good way. <laughs> so, you know, here we are sitting right at this 4,100 support. Now, a lot of people are saying, well, this is support, right? But it doesn't work that way, right? This is the pattern. So this is the, the weight, the distribution that's sitting on this line. And so, you know, when I hear people say, well, you know, market needs to go to 4,000, which is just a, a hair click away. And, you know, now it's going to go like that. It doesn't work that way. Once this pattern, we're actually, we've just tripwired this thing. So as bad as all of this has been, we're just tripwiring now. We're just confirming this pattern. And now we're setting into motion, you know, a further deeper slide that nobody really can envisage. But the charts, and this is why it's just so important to just look at what the price is. Price is news. Price is the information. I was here how the Fed is data dependent. And they've been behind the curve because the markets are ahead. If they would just look at the freaking charts, somebody should put a technician in the Fed. You know, because they're so far behind. The markets are forecasting their whole thing. When you're looking at the data, it's like driving, looking at the, in the rearview mirror. You know, and this is ahead. This is forecasting, anticipating things that we can't even, you know, envisage right now. So this to me is an ascending, broadening price pattern where you go up throughout the pattern. You start out narrow and you widen, you broaden at the top. Now, you know, these can be neutral patterns. So we could, you know, just hit here and then go and make a new high. So I always look at how prices move within the pattern. I put my boundaries and structures and then observe how prices move. So, you know, there was a question from Gus, you know, can we bounce? We can, so we're gonna open lower. I never really like to chase lower openings as you guys know. And then, you know, I do, you know, there's always, you know, you do have a retest and then you go down. So, you know, uh, what this does today, but, you know, I, you know, usually you, you break through, everybody gets excited, then you get one more retest and then it goes down. But either way, this is setting, you know, in motion, you know, exactly what we were looking at at IGV back in uh, February, where I, I said when IGV was at 380, it was going to 270. And we basically hit it last week. How did I know it was going to that level? Because when you form these ascending broadening things, you usually retreat back to the beginning of it. So now people, you know, predicting goes to 3,000. A lot of people are predicting 3,800. This looks like it's going to go a lot lower. So, 
S and P is telling me that we could go to 3,600. Now Dow is also starting to trip wire all of its support. So the NASDAQ has been the weakest. And so the NASDAQ has already gone through all of its support levels. But, you know, the Dow has just been, you know, uh, taking a sweet time in this congestion zone, but now we're ready to, you know, I, we've just taken it out today. We opened 500 points lower in the pre-market session. It's trying to claw its way back. And this is what it does every day. It goes, you know, five, you know, on Friday it went 500 lower and then closed like 90 lower every day. It's like kind of just goes lower and then, you know, has these huge rallies. And that's why it's been, just a really tough market. So here buried in all this stuff is this head and shoulders price pattern. So, you know, you just have to trust the pattern, even though, you know, it gives you a goose here. These are just false, you know, this is the magician giving you that distraction, you know, with the right hand while he's pulling a rabbit out of the hat with the left hand. But, you know, here we are at the moment of truth. This 32,000 is kickoff. This is just, you know, we've come down, but now, you know, now it's just confirming. Now we're, it's good to go. So you can see, yeah, 45, it's 1.3 million. 1.3 million dollars short. So pop out a profit for 118,000 there. So you can see how this is going crazy now. You can see how the market just going nuts. At like a, a million six on this position. I'm showing right now $23,000 gain.